Hey everyone, I'm Monkey OKS and this is Cheap Game Review. Every week we look at a new release on Steam costing $5 or less. Today we're looking at Holt. It's a 2D pixel graphics action adventure released July 16th, currently free to play in early access. Uh, and so far I think just chapter one is available. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, hello there. Glad you could join me as I tell you a story. This story takes place on a world long ago. Its name is Zyla, we'll go with. Zyla was home to the humans. All their lives they had lived in peace and harmony. But everything was going to change. Xyla was then attacked by a unknown entity. No one knew why they came or what they were after. They called the entity the Shaxis. Hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives from the war. Anyone who was alive starting fighting anyone who was alive starting fighting back with assistance from the welders that should be started. This ancient group found a way to reprogram the Shaxes to fight for them. The humans started to make weapons by combining their technology with the enemies. Becoming overwhelmed, the Shaxis fled back to space and the war was over. Chapter 1, A New Dawn. 30 years later. Let's screw that in here, giggity, and make some adjustments here. Hey, I need a plasma wrench if you could. Ibu? Go with Ibu. Ah, perfect. Thank you, my friend. Looks like a big ladybug looking thing. Ibu, anything for you, Holt, and it talks. All right, let's give it a test. Hopefully this time it will work. What do we make? Would you look at that? It works. What is happening? Oh no. Well, I think a couple things need to be tweaked. Ibu, I will add this recording to the logs for later review. Eva, Holt, can you come here, please? Let's go see what is needed. Uh, to interact, use up, use B to enter Ibu mode. Okay. So you can move that thing around. How's the invention coming along? Well, a couple of loose screws and some fried wires, but otherwise it's coming along good. I know you're just a bit more work and it should be done. Speaking of work, Claire is in the front needing some help if you could. Why won't this thing work? Dad, glad you're here. I was wondering if you could help me out. The pin pad on my hoverboard won't take any of the inputs I give it. I need a replacement circuit board. Saw some circuit boards near the barn in purple crates. RB to equip X, RT to attack. Okay. You, what are you? 
saw some birds before they were very pretty. Good morning, Holt. I hope everything is well. Sounds okay. It's a weird thing about this game. It does not support mouse and keyboard. It is controller only. Which, uh, kind of strange, but... Oh, and I stick them in there. Got it. It's hovering. Hey, yo, you got to work. Thanks, Dad. Oh, so would I be able to go out for a bit? All right, as long as you're back before dinner, you got a deal, Pops. Um, I can't take it. Claire's going to be heading to Rip Zone. I told her to, I told her to back before supper. Oh, good. Speaking of supper, would you be able to run into town? I have an order waiting at Ardor's shop. Sure, I'll be back soon enough. All right, I guess we can, uh, we we can leave now. Pull our axe out just in case. Oh, can we? Ah, yeah. It's very pretty. I do like a good pixel graphics game. Was that something? Nope. All right, I get it. We're going through the forest. Let's get to the end of this forest, please. There we go. Okay. Well, if it isn't Holt. Whoops. Looking to buy something, I always got the best deals. Go home. Oh, it's not good. So sure about this combat. Kind of just slowly swing your axe. Are there any other buttons, or is it just? Does this thing have any attacks? Doesn't look like it. It's probably used for like puzzles or something. I imagine. Where? Oh, I put my axe. Oh, there we go. Put my axe away. Oh, that's our house that's on fire, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I had to attack it, okay. New weapon unlocked, out. light machine gun. Swap. So instead of interact there, I had to attack. The gun just kind of looks, it looks out of place on him. All right, combat is not the most exciting thing. Fire sweeper, human identified, subject to termination. All right, I guess we got a boss fight here. Surrender or be roasted to a crisp. Like that would ever happen. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Definitely. Whoa, hey. Can I... Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna walk. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. I guess I probably... Yeah, I don't really know how I'm supposed to avoid that. Oop. Down I go. Oh, I respawned. I guess I got another life. Is there a way to jump? 
Or maybe I'm just supposed to get on the other side of him. That would probably make more sense. Ah, uh, hey, I'm an idiot. Now, is he really just gonna keep shooting that way? And I'm just gonna not pay attention and overheat my gun? Perfect. Okay, this is, uh... This is something. It's a beautiful game. Uh, the music's really good. It's weird that there's no... There's no, like, sound effects for, like, me shooting or anything. It's all just music. I mean, the music's good, but you need some kind of, like, sound effects. Or just... I mean, the, the combat is lacking to begin with, but... At least adding the sound effects for the gunfire... Would add a little something, but... I mean, this is... This isn't, uh... Combat, this is just... Kind of storytelling. Okay... So that is it. So that is it for Holt. Um, not really my cup of tea. It's more of just like a story, light adventure game. There's not much of a game, really. Like the combat, I mean, the combat's pretty lacking. You just stand there and shoot your gun. I mean, the boss fight was just, okay, walk behind him. He continues to shoot off in this direction for a few seconds, and I shoot him in the back, and you can walk back and forth through him. So I think this game is just looking to, you know, tell a story and be pretty and sound good, which to be fair, it's very pretty. I mean, if, if you like, if you don't like pixel graphics, then I guess you would think this looks bad, but pixel graphics wise, this is a really pretty game. Um, the music was excellent. However, there's no other sound design at all. There's no noise from swinging your ax or shooting your gun or from the fire or from anything, which just kind of makes it feel like you're not playing a game that you're just watching a story unfold, which is really what's happening. So I guess that is fine. I don't like it. So overall, is it worth playing? Uh, right now, probably not. So it's early access, so it's only chapter one. And like I said, there's not really a game here. It's really just a story. So until the story is done, there's nothing to see here. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, you wait till it's done and then play through the story. Will I play it again? Probably not. It was a little cut. It was a little slow paced for me. Um, just personally, this isn't type, my type of game. I like a little more action in my action adventure. This is definitely more on the... I don't. I have trouble calling this even an adventure game. It's really just a story presented through some light gameplay. That said, I don't think it's bad. Um, I'll leave it a positive review on Steam. It's just with the caveats that, you know, this isn't my type of game. It's really just a story. And it's pretty well presented, and it's very pretty. It is a very pretty game. That is probably the best thing it's got going for it. And the music is also solid. I would really just like to see a little more sound design, a little more going on beside just the music. Get some, get some axe swinging, get some laser shooting, you know, whatever. Just stuff like that. Or, you know, when the village is on fire, get some crackling, that kind of stuff. So that is it for Cheap Game Review this week. I am Monkey Chaos, and I'll catch you next time. Later.